we all talk about you know, customer satisfaction. We all talk about employee satisfaction. How many people here have an employee satisfaction survey in their organization? A few of you. Satisfaction does not equal engagement. Satisfaction is simply when the needs of the individual are met by the relationship with the organization. For example, is it a place that is close to my home? Does it fundamentally pay me a salary that works for me? Do I get the benefits that I need to look after my family? Do I get the kind of vacation time? These are all things that are important only to the person who is working there. And as a result, it's about a rational connection. Do they rationally get the things that they need? And that's satisfaction. So if you're measuring satisfaction, all you're really measuring is what's in it for them. Now on the other hand, engagement is when people start to become aligned with the priorities and goals of the organization. They start to think about the organization. So in, in the example I gave with Sean, if this person was engaged, they'd start to think about, you know what, this person is here for five or six days. This person is part of a group. This person could come back again. This person could say good things about this organization. So if I can do something to help this person have a better experience here, it's going to be for the benefit of this organization. They wouldn't necessarily get personal benefit, but they would get benefit for the organization. And when that happens, that's when they start to emotionally connect with the organization. And for me, that's the big trigger point between being satisfied and engaged. It's the emotional connection. All the time when I, talk, when I, when I speak to, to people, I'm constantly talking about the need for that emotional connection. When I talk about change, when I talk about customer service, when I talk about you know, building a high performing work environment, it's always about developing the emotional connection. And if you're not doing that, then you're not going to have a successful relationship with your people. And so engagement to me is when they enjoy what they do, they like it, they believe in what they do. That means they feel a connection with the organization. They feel that it's more than just a collection of tax, uh, tasks. And they also feel valued for what they do. And when you do that, when they feel that way, that's when you have the ability to tap into that elusive discretionary effort we all want. 